Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this look that you see right here. Um, I'm going for a natural, not so natural type of look. Um, focusing more on my skin as opposed to eyeshadows and wing liner and super bold dramatic lashes like I normally do. So if you guys want to know how I did this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to prep our eyelid with some concealer. I've already done my eyebrows, um, as you guys can see, and I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit more concealer on my actual eyelid so I can start applying my eyeshadow. Um, you will notice that my concealer is a lot lighter than my uh, shade that I would normally wear. Um, I do wear it a little bit lighter just because I like how it makes my eyebrows look a little bit more cleaner and it makes my eyeshadows look a lot more vibrant. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but that's kind of what I've been doing this past couple of months and I'm, I really like it. I get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows. Everyone tells me wow they look really sharp, they look very clean and that's because I'm using a lighter shade than what I normally wear. I know usually you would hear someone tell you not to do that. Um, for me, it just works that way. So that's what I've been doing this past couple of months. So um, this is in the color um, 8B. This is porcelain beige. And I normally use this on my clients who have, you know, obviously like a lighter um, skin shade or fair tone than I do. So I'm just going to apply just a little bit because I've already pretty much applied it earlier just so that I can go ahead and really jump in with my eyeshadow. I don't like to have any creases on my eyelids, so I know that I've already kind of walked around and did my hair and it's already creased. So just gonna retouch it. Okay, so the palette that I'm gonna be using today is gonna be from Tarte and it's this little palette right here and the colors, uh, as you can see, they're a little bit more neutral and a little bit more natural. So I'm going to go in with the matte colors first and then maybe pop some shimmer, maybe in the um, teardrop area, but not too much because again, I want to wear something a little bit more uh, on the natural side. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to apply is called Explore and it's this shade right over here. And I'm going to apply this all on my crease area and maybe bring it out towards uh, the wing. I like to apply the color mostly towards the corner of my eye and then kind of just use whatever's left over on my brush towards the um, center of my eyelid. I'm gonna bring it a little bit towards the brow. By the way guys, if you see my nose super red, it's because I've been having this really bad allergy reaction today. Um, for some reason, I don't know. I just woke up sneezing. I know I'm not sick, I don't have a cold. It's literally just my nose. It's like when you have a tickle there and it's just like bugging you the entire day. That's me right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, kind of just tap the color first. And then start bringing it towards the center and again it's kind of just like whatever's left over on the brush tart colors are so soft they feel so like I don't know so smooth So again, I kind of want to do a little wing, not too much. And I'm bringing it towards the bottom of my brow because I want to remove or reduce the appearance of that white concealer underneath my eyes. And that will also help uh, when we contour our nose so that it looks a lot more defined 
a lot more thinner. So that's all gonna come together once we apply our foundation and we start contouring our face. I'm still using the same color guys. I haven't dipped into anything else. Same color. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the lighter shade in here. It's also a matte color, which is this one right over here. Um, and this is the color Earthy. I'm gonna use a flat brush for that, just so that I can apply that towards my lid area. Let me find me a flat brush. Any clean Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and with a flat brush and kind of just apply that on towards my actual lid. And I'm not going to do like a cut crease, it's not going to be super defined. We're going to smoke it out to make it look as natural as possible. And we're just going to go ahead and tap the color in. Okay, so we're gonna apply that near our teardrop area and kind of just bring it out towards the crease. And I'm just tapping the product in. I'm not necessarily brushing it back and forth so that I can apply as much product as I can. And since it is a lighter shade, um, I wanna be able to see it. Sometimes when it's a light shade, um, and you start brushing it through, it kind of fades away, so. Remember, we're not doing a, a defined cut crease or anything like that. We're just kind of doing it nice and soft. I'm gonna go back in with the um, same brush. I'm not gonna apply any additional product on it. I'm not gonna jump back into the color. I'm just going to softly um, blend those two colors together. I'm not really putting so much pressure on the brush because I don't wanna lose um, the color, this color right here, the lighter shade. I kinda just wanna bring the colors together very softly, guys. Don't put too much pressure. And that's it so that's all i'm going to do for my eyes i don't want to go all out and add any additional colors because again i want to wear something uh, a little bit more kind of just neutral and natural that i can wear the entire day my focus is going to be more on my face that's what's going to give it that glowy um look that like glamorous look that's what i'm going to focus on today so um for my primer i'm going to be using the touch and soul um, face primer and this is a pore minimizer i love this thing um i've been wearing it non-stop i can't even imagine when i run out i'm gonna go crazy and order like a bunch more because i just absolutely love it i love that it's so soft and it really does reduce the appearance of your pores if you guys haven't tried it i strongly recommend that you do all right guys, so for my foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Max Fix Fluid Foundation. This is in the shade NC37. Um, it's so crazy because I've never actually used MAC foundation. I know everybody I'm sure has tried it and it's probably a lot of people's like holy grail foundation. Um, I am very used to wearing my infallible pro matte foundation from L'Oreal. I love it because it's full coverage and it stays matte the entire day, especially if you have oily skin. Um, so this is new to me, but you know, I've been trying it for this past month and I like it. I know it's not like full coverage, but it's buildable. So, you know, I like it. So that's the color or that's the foundation that we're going to be applying today. And I'm going to apply it with my sponge from Real Techniques. I 
I do like that I don't have to use a lot of product. Um, so I used two pumps on each side. And, and it wasn't like big pumps, by the way, guys. It was like small pumps. And it's enough to cover pretty much my entire face. I haven't actually added more product. And I'm using what's left to apply on my forehead and around my brows. So I do like that. Usually with the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, it's a foundation that I'm sure if you've tried before, um, it dries up really quick. It's, you know, it's obviously a full coverage foundation, but it's like a thicker type of um, product. So when you apply it, you have to work really quick with it because it does tend to dry up. And if you don't blend it in time, then you're kind of screwed. So this is kind of nice that you can kind of go back and forth and, you know, make sure that you get like every corner. And I do like that it's buildable. So if I want more coverage, I can always just add a little more and it won't look, you know, super cakey. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with my concealer so I can start contouring my face. I'm gonna go back in with Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer and I'm in the shade 34S, which is medium sand. So, I'm not gonna apply too much on my forehead because trust me guys, a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. Um, I do like to apply a lot underneath my eyes just because, you know, obviously I wanna get rid of any um, dark circles underneath my eyes, but I don't like to apply too much on my forehead. Okay, so to contour, I'm gonna go in once again with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in the shade uh, 53H Deep Honey. And I didn't apply too much because I know it's you know very dark, and I want to be able to blend it. So I didn't apply too much, but I'm gonna go in with my sponge once again and blend that out. And this is just to make sure that we can warm up the face and that way we don't look, you know, too pale. Like I said earlier, our main focus is going to be on our face today. I've had really bad allergies all morning and I was so afraid that once I started putting my foundation, I was going to start sneezing like crazy, but so far so good. Let's not jinx it. <laughs> so I do like to bring that near my brows and that's why I mentioned earlier that if you brought in your eyeshadow, it would kind of blend in a lot more. Okay, so I think we did a pretty good job with the concealer. Let's go ahead and put our setting powder. Okay, now to set my foundation, I'm gonna be going in with my Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. And this is my baby right here. I use these on all my clients. Um, I like it because it doesn't have like a flashback or anything like that. And it's so soft on the skin and it's just, you know, it's, I'm very comfortable with it. And so I haven't really been wanting to switch it up for anything else. Okay, now what I like to do when I put my setting powder is um, I actually like to press the powder in as opposed to dusting it all off. I do that because I tend to get oily skin towards the end of the day with my foundation. 
it's so weird because if I don't wear my makeup, my face is like super oily. And if I wear my foundation, then I, I feel great and I don't feel like my face is, you know, like super oily. Okay, so I am gonna apply a little bit more on the side of my nose. And this I will dust off, guys. This is to kind of really contour the nose so we can get a Michael Jackson type of nose here. All right, guys, so for blush, I'm gonna be using the Cover FX palette here. Um, and the shade that I'm using is right down here. This is in the color Silhouette. And it's kind of like a very uh, pinkish, light pink tones, not really too bright. It's really soft and that's why I really love this color. So that's what we're gonna be applying for blush. Make sure you dust it off so you don't go crazy and apply too much. that up towards the brows. There's a shade right above this blush in this palette that's um, basically a highlighter and it's this one right here. This is in the color Starlight. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of that right above the blush. It's not really too shimmery so I kind of just like how that looks on the skin it makes it look a little bit more glowy and as you can see it's not super glittery but it gives you you know a bit of a glowy skin type of feel which i'm loving before I go in with any highlight or anything like that, I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. This is from Morphe. And I'm doing this because I want my face to look as glowy as possible. So, okay, so I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. Not too much because I know we've already contoured, but I wanna give it a little bit more warm tones on my face and also get rid of the double chin because you don't want to look like you have one so i'm just going to apply just a little bit not too much we're definitely doing a super beat face right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply more of my translucent powder to really carve out the cheekbones. Okay guys, so while our face is baking and carving out our cheekbones, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with some highlighter. Um, today I'm gonna be using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow um, Powders, and this is in the color Purple Dream. This is like, I think this is like the second or third one that I have from them, and I just absolutely love their highlighters. They're super pigmented, and they always have, um, especially this collection, they have different tones in it, so it always makes your face look I don't know, super glowy and kind of out of this world type of look. I love it, I don't know. This has purple tones in it, so I am going to be applying that. I like to use whatever's left over on the lid because the product is so um, so fine that as soon as you open it, it's just like, it goes everywhere. I'm sure you guys see it in my video right now, flying in the air. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply whatever's left on the lid. You guys can see it's just like, goes everywhere so I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it on can you guys see it it's so pretty oh my god yes <laughs> 
My eyes are so watery because I'm trying so hard not to, not to sneeze. Like I told you guys earlier, our focus was going to be on our face as opposed to our eyeshadows. So I'm just going to apply just a little bit. I like to hold my brush like this so I have a little bit more control. So pretty. Okay guys, so my camera died halfway through my video, but you guys didn't miss much. All I did was dust off the setting powder that was around my cheekbones when I was trying to carve out my cheeks. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh no, the other thing that I did, which I think is a really good tip for you guys, is um, since I'm not going to be applying any like super wing eyeliner, just lashes, a really good trick that you guys can do is apply eyeliner just a little bit where it's basically from your teardrop area. I actually brought it all the way along, but normally I just bring it from my teardrop all the way up to like right here so that when I apply my lashes, they don't look... Um, how can I say like you can't see the gap in between where your eyelashes are your falsies and you're actually in your actual teardrop area so it's a really good trick that you guys can do uh, when you apply your falsies especially if you're not wearing eyeliner so that's pretty much what I did I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara I'm gonna apply my eyelashes and then I'll come back so we can put lipstick and we'll be done with this look all right guys so my eyelashes are on um as you guys can see they're not super dramatic um like i normally wear these are kind of just more subtle more natural um this is our natural not so natural type of look okay guys so i did pop those on i did add a little bit of mascara underneath my lower lash line i use the um, better than sex mascara and let's go ahead and apply our lipstick i'm not really sure uh, what I want to go for I originally thought I wanted to have like some super red lips but now I'm kind of enjoying this kind of soft glam type of look so let's see what I got in here so I have a few lipsticks that I um, depotted into this palette right here and a lot of them are from Avon which is like their extreme matte lipsticks and I think that's what I'm gonna go for today. Um, I don't want anything too crazy. I kind of want to go for something nude. Can't remember the name of this color, so I'll put it in the description below. There's a lighter shade in this palette, um, also from Avon. And again, I'll go ahead and put all the names underneath on my description. Um, and it's this shade right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a lot lighter. And I'm gonna apply that just a little bit on the center of my lips. Okay guys, so that's it for my look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. My natural, not so natural type of look. Um, again, I didn't go too crazy on my eyelashes. No wing liner, just, you know, I think my main focus was on my skin. Cause you know when you go somewhere and you see somebody with like this super glowy skin and you're like, whoa, that's kind of what I want to have uh, today. That's the impression I'm trying to give out today. So um, if you guys did like this video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so that you don't miss on any videos um, that I might be posting. And also follow me on my social media accounts. I'm a lot more active on Instagram um, or Facebook than I am on YouTube, sadly to say. Um, but I'm trying to be more consistent, you guys. Um, again, I really hope you guys like this video. And if you do, hopefully I catch you on my next one. Bye!